Okay. So, what does God care about? What does God say? God expects you to be nice, to have compassion, just like Him. He doesn't care who you are, where you're from, what religion you are, what you do for a living, what you wear, what you eat. He doesn't care about that. So, where or what are, is he wanting us to do? I think he's wanting us to learn how to take care of ourselves. We don't have an entitlement. Nobody does. Nobody's entitled to anything. But if you're nice, you're independent, you're helpful, you're caring, you share, you love. Through love, you can learn all of these things. God doesn't want us to not be able to take care of others. In fact, in every Bible, in every part of the world, it says that every angel has a purpose, that every person has a purpose, and it doesn't matter how big or small, it's important. Now, do you think that maybe the people who have more important jobs or maybe higher up? Probably. There are angels to help the rotations with the planets? Probably. There are people that help other people? Yeah, definitely. So what is our purpose? How do we get back to God? Well, we learn. We learn to love. And we learn in general. I think we're more like children than anything. Just going through our steps in life, becoming adults, full blown beings of light. It's kind of an abstract idea, but even when we're adults, we're children. Because we have not gone through all the steps that we need to go in order to get to God. Now, God, we can visit God all along the way. We talk to God almost every day sometimes. Sometimes in a good way, sometimes in a bad way, because God's all around. It's like this big collective consciousness that we're all connected to, and God is in the center. He sees everything. He feels everything. But you may not see and feel everything yourself. Just remember what you do, good or bad. And hopefully, the more good you do, and the more self-sufficient and helpful towards others you are, the more apt you'll be able to get to see God and stay with God.